but the way he performed and well, yeah, I, I'm proud of him. That's what he's capable of. Uh, and he went out and performed, I think, equally well at both ends. Obviously, he scored and got on the glass. But defensively, I mean, he was locked in. I mean, he had his feet apart, he was up the line, and he was over. He was active. He, he pushed it, kicked it on the break. He was very much a part of our fast break opportunities. And uh, it's great to see him, you know, when he's playing that way. Is that about as well as your team has played this year? For special yeah, because, you know, we played a really good team. You know, we, we played really well in some of the games. Disrespect, but you know, this is this is a team that I think. Obviously, they beat Tennessee last night. And it's a team that I think has a chance to be really good. And so it's you know, and plus it's not at home. You know, Fred, how much time in the last 24 hours did you guys spend talking about activity, defense, the things you alluded to in the first answer? Well, you know, most of the game plan was focused on that because you, know, you look at last night's game, Tennessee. Give up 58 percent, and Tennessee wants to run and, and get out and go, and, and they weren't able to do that because you know, they were making you know, making baskets. So we felt like you know, we could pull them to a low number to get our transition game going. You know, and that's exactly what happened. They shoot, they shot 34.6. So I mean, that's he said they're you know instead of shooting in the 50s, we're going to shoot in the 30s. Mel, can you just talk about getting, being active from the very beginning on the defensive end? You were, you, I think you had seven defensive rebounds in the first half. What was kind of your focus coming into this game? I think my focus was just playing the game. As a senior, I think it's my obligation to my team. I feel like I have to Zach, what's it like out there when things are just going that good? Uh, it's just fun. I mean, everyone's you know, making baskets. Uh, everyone's just cheering for each other. And, um, you know, we got our guys off the bench to come and play. And everyone just played really good. And uh, we had great defensive intensity the whole game. Regardless of who it is, you're going to play a good team tomorrow night, obviously, yeah. for a championship. It's not March, it's not April, of course, but to play for a championship at any point in the season, what's that mean to guys? Uh, it means, you know, it means a lot. I mean, um, we had a chance last year and um, came up short, and I think uh, just getting this second opportunity for us. Uh, when we play, we're going to play a great team in Kansas with Bill Noah. Um, just got to keep playing our game, just keep uh, beating up the line, and uh, we're going to have defensive heads again. every game. Zach, you had uh, the dunk. <laughs> yeah. um, big well, smile on your face. <laughs> you had a big smile on your face coming up the court. I mean, yeah, that was, uh, that was my first one. I mean, it took a long time. Did you think about dishing it off? I mean, Whitey was there. It looked like he was claiming yeah, for I the saw Whitey. Uh, I don't know. I just thought Whitey knew he wasn't doing <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that. Well, is that the sign of a good night when, when, when he throws one down? Is that, <laughs> well, I, are, are you yeah, talking to beat when he dunks? You know, I, I'd be more apt to look at the fact that we had 22 assists on 31 field goals. I mean, to me, the way we distributed the ball, and that shows you that you know, your transition game is working. You know, because guys are finishing, whether it's Sax Dunk or someone else, you know, we were really sharing the ball. And I thought Marble, you know, last night he was the focus of everybody's attention. He goes for 30, and tonight they're playing a box of one to start the game and things like that, and he goes for six assists in the first half. It shows you the kind of character that he has. You guys carved that up right out of the gate. Did you well, we, think that well, was coming? We started in a 1-3-1. One, one. Yeah. The first three possessions that were in 1-3-1, one, one. we scored three times, and they got out of it. And then they went to the triangle in the box. And, uh, you know, we, we opted to treat it all the same. And uh, just go ahead and make plays. Not try to figure out a word what they're in, but just face the basket and take the space that's there and move the ball to open people. And don't be afraid to put on the deck or shoot the ball. And you know, to see Melson and be that aggressive offensively, I mean, that's who he is. He, he can score and he can rebound and he can do it against anybody. He's already proven that. So you know, that made a big difference because you know, when they're in a triangle, they're chasing Dev and Mike around, and Mel's going to be open and Zach's going to be open. 
Eight, when are you going to be open? And they have to go, be, go make shots and make plays for their teammates. Mel, they were daring you to hit the jumper, and I know you've been working a lot on that over your last couple of years. Uh, what were you thinking when you saw when you saw those openings? You figured just take it because it's there. Frank, how much triangle in two do you see? I mean, I know he, he used it last night, so he probably knew it was coming, but do you see it open uh, anymore? No, and I think that's why, you know, Tim's had real success with it. Because it's not something <laughs> you see. And, and it gets you tentative. It gets you playing side to side. It gets you thinking, can I get closer? Am I really open? This coach want me to take this <laughs> shot. And I tried to alleviate that, you know, in, in the shoot around today. You open, shoot the ball. If you space drive the ball, you know, take the ball side to side and then screen the guys who are in the triangle or the box. Screen them. So if they want to chase our guy around, they're going to be running into people all night long. But I think more than our screening is our ball movement. Fran, was this a perfect type of game for you, not only to win and play well doing it, but you're able to get marble off the floor after last night? Well, we got a lot of guys to rest. I mean, it was a, that was a grueling game last night. Overtime, physical, pressing, man to man, and comfort behind. And, uh, you know, so to be able to put some guys out, get a lot of people playing time, you know, it's great to get Pete some minutes, get him going, get 14, and we were meeting. And uh, get Jared Utah going. He was, he was a little tentative last night. Tonight, obviously, he was spectacular. So, I think that's the, that's the beauty of our team. A lot of guys are going to do a lot of things. Fran, do you take Pharma as a measuring stick of where you're at or just take the game as it comes? Kind of? You know, very few times in your life you get to play for a championship. And so for us, you know, I won't let that go unnoticed to our guys. Uh, but you know, either way, we're going to be playing a, a team with an incredible national reputation. And, you know, if we, you aspire to be consistent among that group. You, know, you have to play well against those teams and ultimately win some of those teams. We're going to see enough of them this year. You know, obviously, we've got more than the non of course, in our schedule, but also, obviously, in the Big Ten, we've got a number of teams that we're going to play, many of them in the top ten. So uh, it's, it's a great opportunity for us to be challenged this early in our schedule against a really, really good team. Aaron didn't, Aaron didn't seem to be kind of in the flow last night for maybe the first half or so, but tonight seemed to be real aggressive. And, and well, he really got some opportunities out in transition. And, uh, you know, the thing about him is he's always going to come through for you. I mean, you know, he might be a little bit off here and there. Tonight he was on fire, so it's good to see.